Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used the stamp sets. Lovely lily pad. And I used this lily pad here. And, no, the flower. And this lily pad. I also used Label Me Bold. And I used Happy Birthday. And... Um, what else did I use? Oh, some thread. This is pool party and white with silver fleck. It was, I think, in last year's catalogue. I'm not sure. Um, I was given this by Katie Freeman. So I've actually used some of it. The cards I use use a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and burnished. I've got two pieces of white cardstock of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the top and one for the inside. I don't think we did anything inside now. And I've got a scrap here for the flower and the lily pad. So first we'll do the um, lily pad. We'll ink them up. They need cutting out and colouring. And one lily pad. I'm lucky enough to have the dies for these as Gain and Boyce sent me them. So I would take the dies and cut them out like that, which I've already done. They're here. So we just need to colour them in. So I'll keep them for another card. Right, to colour these in, I used, let's do this one first, dark old olive, and I just just done around the rim of that one, one end, and the same on the other end. My nib on this one's going. And then with the light, I coloured in the rest. Just blend that in a bit better. That's all I did for the lily pad. That's all you can do really. And then with the flower, I got pink. Now is this pink or flirty? Oh. I just want the pink one first. And I just coloured that all in, in pink. There is a, um, if you turn your stamp round, you can actually colour it in with your ink on this stamp because it is a two-way stamp. Oh, where is it here? 
Let me clean it before I pick it up. So you can stamp it the way I stamped it to get your detail. And then you can turn it over and you can stamp this. Oh, I've got a pull party here. So ink it up and you can just cover it in like that. It doesn't match it completely. But you can do that. I'll take it up a little bit. That's it. And then you can colour it in like that. The same as the lily pad. But I choose to um, colour mine in obviously because that's what I'm doing so let's just while we're here put these away just shut this for now because I'm not ready for it yet right my flower and then we're flirty flamingo This one. All I did was went down the bottoms of the petals and just added in a bit of colour. Nothing spectacular. just to give it an extra bit of colour and then with rich raspberry light I just did a line around the just to darken them out a bit And then I went over them again with the pink. And I didn't go right to the top when I went over them the second time. And that is my flower. Lily pad and the flower. So right. To do the um bottom we need some scrap paper, our brushes, some pool party, and some Pacific Point. I don't use this one again. Another ink I don't use. So, remembering which one's which. Right, this one's Pool Party. Pick up the ink. And we're going to go up three quarters of the way up in Pool Party. I have to do it a few times because such a light ink I don't want to use blue which would have, would have shown up better 
like Barmy Blue or Seaside Spray. Right, I think I'm quite happy with that. And then we get our Pacific Point and take it halfway up. But now, second time, pay lots of attention to the bottom of it. Make it darker. Blend it in a bit more, that's it. it to be a bit more darker than that. That's a bit better. So you can see the pull party and then it goes into the Pacific Point. I still need that lower bit bit darker. That's better. And then we'll get the pull pot again and just blend it all in. To, is to that you can use a brush oh, like I've done or you could use your sponges daubers whatever it is you take to um, use you can use to get your colour right what we're going to do now is stick this on the front before we put our flower on First time I made this card, I actually made it a get well card for my sister. She had to have kidney stones removed. Another sister, that is. Um, yeah, and then I changed it into a birthday card when I made it a second time for filming. So, we've got to do the sentiment, and with that, we're using. Label me bold and Pacific Point. So put that on there. Didn't like that. Do that again. That's better. Get rid of that. Bring in my scissors and we're going to straighten this out. So we're going to cut it off there and straighten the whole thing out. Yeah. 
leave in a whole nice white border just like that so that's our sentiment and that one need to be on dimensionals now don't know if I've done it big enough for the small dimensionals but we'll see oh yeah three of them to stop it sagging in the middle and we need big ones for the flower Five on this. And one in the middle. That's it. Right, we want some glue for the lily pad. We're just going to glue that down there. Then the lily we will sit on top like that. Right. Um, want some. A nice little bow for this baker's twine. Well, it's a pretty baker's twine actually. I don't know why I've never used it before. I want a little tiny bow, don't want a big bow. And then trim that off. And that's going to sit just there with a spot of glue. One thing about this glue, it does hold down thread. And then with our sentiment, which we couldn't see, We are going to place right way up. Preferably straight. some gems um, that's pearls and I want pearls where's my gems Everything gets flung on the floor. I don't remember finishing them. we could add a, a couple of pearls, couldn't we? What size? This size. Oh, found them. I 
I keep saying I'm going to sort them out, but I never do. Right, we're going to put one there. These go better with the Dacus terrain. And there we have it. A nice stay down. Little lily pad card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.